If you are waiting for the right time to start doing something or to change a habit or to create a new routine and pattern for yourself, I want to let you know that it will never happen. No amount of external causalities will make you do something really for yourself and for your own liking if it's not you initiating it and starting it yourself with your sheer will, with your courage of getting out of your comfort zone and actually starting doing it. Because what you're really saying when you say, I'm waiting for the right time, in many cases, obviously there are times where, for example, during winter you can't plant certain crops outside. That's obvious. But I'm talking about situations where you want to try something new, where you want to stop doing a specific habit, when you want to start being more productive on certain specific matters. And you say, I want uh, to wait for the right time or I, I'm waiting for the right time to start. I want to start when I feel like it. In reality, you are saying that you depend on the external world to tell you what to do. And that's already weak-minded and weak-minded individuals don't really go much far with their own goals and their own uh, fulfillment spiritually, mentally, and even physically. That type of mentality is much more survivalistic and lower octave, which means that you are only focusing on the basis of things because obviously survival is important. Lower octave stuff is important to fulfill in order for you to even... Um, be at the point where you can do something creative and do things that are higher octave. But when you only stay and sit on the lower octave energies and when you are sitting on the lower octave ways of existing, like survival and stuff, uh, then you are going to depend on the world and how what the world tells you to do and what the world needs you to do. And so you will be led way more by peer pressure than individuals that take actions when they know they should be taking actions instead of waiting for the right time or other people to tell them or the world to pressure them to the point of they have no other option besides doing that. And so you want to practice your ability to get out of your, uh, get up your air, get <laughs> Wait, hold, hold on. Somebody said in the comments this expression and I'm always saying it wrong. Get up off your ass and start doing shit that you know you should be doing, that you know you want to be doing. No matter what it is, you, sh you should start doing it when you know you should be doing it. It's like going to the gym for the first few times or start uh, when you are doing something for the first few times you're like ah oh, I don't want to I'm I'm feeling lazy I could I could skip this one time and whatever but you don't why don't you skip because you know you should be in the gym and you get up off your ass you go to the gym and you start working out and in a few more times you are already like I don't feel right if I don't go to the gym I want to go to the gym. I feel nice when I'm in the gym. I feel nice when I get out of the gym. I feel nice with my body. I feel more fresh. I feel more productive. And that's one of the examples of when you start doing something that you know you should be doing and when you do it and when you finish it, you feel way better. You know you are creating some routine and pattern around your goals and your patterns and, you, and your um, creativity, your abilities and all of that, and you build trust with yourself to do more things that you don't know if, uh, if you know how to do it, you don't know if you are going to be good at it, but if you start doing it, no matter if the time is right or not, because what you're really saying by what the time is right or not is you feel justified by the world, all the world is clapping you, yes, girl, yes, go, 
While majority of times it's not going to be like that. Many times it's even going to be like, what, what do you, uh, some, some people around you, what do you think you are doing? Like, why, why should you, why should you be doing this? And majority of times it's in your head. Majority of times it's within you that you're like, why should I be doing this? Like I will be, people will look at me as crazy and stuff. So many, many times you are your hater. You are your biggest fucking hater and you should get up off your ass with your sheer will and train that motherfucker to spin whenever you want it to because it's not the world that should incentivate you and motivate you to do stuff it's you yourself that should train yourself it's like going to the gym you should train yourself to activate that passion and many times you will not want to do stuff but you know you should be because if you come to your 60s 70s 80 years you'll be like why the fuck didn't I start this sooner? Obviously, it's never too late. If you are alive, you should start doing it any time. But obviously, you have way less time on your clock. And you and many of the older people are going to tell you if they are not dumbasses and still haven't realized their mistakes. They are going to tell you, you better start now then later because later it's going to be too late later you will have way more things on your plate you better start now you better start doing things that you want that you see potential fail millions of times and see what works for you and then you are going to see how easy it is for you to get up off your ass and actually start doing things that you might not be familiar with but you damn sure know that it's something that you want to try you you damn sure know that it's something that you want to accomplish so you better start doing it now and not wait for the time a, b a better time to do something because a better time is you also saying oh it's when I feel like it you will never almost never I will not say never because there are times where you feel like it but a majority of times you will not feel like it because you never did it before or you didn't have a good experience with it but you still want to do it but there is your body saying oh I prefer to do this oh but do you know how how good it feels this and I prefer eating cake instead of an apple or I prefer to sit on my couch instead of doing a painting or going for a jog and st stuff like that oh I don't want to be seen like this bitch you better get out of your head you start do it and prove your body prove your mind wrong prove and prove your body that you can so that it repro so you reprogram it to always motivate you when you don't feel when you're like i don't know if i should do it and your body's like yeah let's go for it let's go for it right instead of being like yeah let's go for the cake <laughs> this is like an example i love cake like I don't don't think i'm hating like on um, uh, food like that but um, it's like an example like if you are trying to not eat too much sugar or gluten because there is something that you feel like it's uh, putting you down and putting up your calories or whatever and you're like wh when you know what the the feeling of yeah let's go for that cake yeah let's go for that ice cream you know and you're like, you you that giddy, create the same pattern around things that you want to do and that you know are important, like going to the gym, going for the job, going to make a painting, going to make a video, start working on that couch that you said you would do, do that table, start doing that song, create that music, create that beat, do those lashes, do those nails, go to the courses, how to make the lashes and the nails and the makeup and the hair and all of that stuff. Start creating clothing, start creating all that shit. Everything that you want to start doing, start now. Get up off your ass and start doing it. This video is for all of you and for me to remind myself that I will not have the same uh, I, I will not have the right time to do something. I will have only now and only now is important. It's not the past. The future is also coming, but the future is the present. The present is what you decide to do. What you did three years ago in that present is what is the result of 
uh, no, hold on. The present that you are living in right now is the result of the present that you had three years ago, three months ago, yesterday, before yesterday. What you decided to do in that present then is what led to you right now. So if you don't like your situation, change right now. If you like it, continue and do it better and better and never wait for a time to do it. You create the time, you create the sheer will for it because you can and nobody else will care for it besides you. No no world outside of you will tell you, yes, girl, yes, if you don't do it first, if you don't prove the world that you can. Because if you don't prove the world that you can, if you don't prove your yourself that you can the world won't give a shit not, and it's not nobody else's fault but yours so i hope this video was interesting thank you so much for watching and i will see you all very soon make sure to check out my link tree in the description to see my paintings my art check out my clothing designs and designs for your um logo and shit if you want to see that make sure to go check it out and message me there if you want something and i will see you all very soon thank you so much for watching be yourself stay unique and individual stay on your spiritual path and remember that the best way to be is to be your goddamn self shout out to esoteric cloud surfer make sure to check out his link tree down below and i will see you all very soon make sure that you get up off your ass get out of your mind and start doing stuff to prove yourself that you can do it i will see you all very soon Bye-bye.